Hello and welcome to this week's coffee vlog. It's now Friday the, what is it actually? 12th of February. Uh, 2021. It's minus four at the moment. Which is a, ooh, bit nippy. A bit nippy, these lot flying up here. Um, and uh, yeah, it's generally been a very, very frosty, freezy, coldy, little bit of snowy, but not very much weak. Um, most of what's sat around at the moment, we got last Saturday night, in fact, uh, and then we had little twiddly bits since, but not a lot. Uh, unfortunately, nothing to block roads or anything, which is always the main problem. So, uh, so as for getting anywhere, that's been fine this week. It's just been back to usual commutes. Um, but yes, it's cold. <laughs> it's like living in the Arctic again. Um, and uh, it doesn't, of course, help if you're um, shoving parcels in cold metal lockers. Uh, that just makes you even colder when it's minus four. Um, so steady away with keeping up with stuff this week. Spent all day Tuesday roasting on the 30 kilo, which all day, that's a lot of roasts, 10 back-to-back -back roasts. Um, so that was a lot of coffee. And I was roasting with it yesterday, another five, and also with the five kilo yesterday. So, yeah, roasted a lot of coffee, but it, uh, it needed keeping up with. Yeah, just kept it up there. So, um... So yeah, crazy busy with uh, roasted coffee at the moment. Everyone seems to go nuts for it. Um, and green coffee, of course, as well. So, uh, all in all, it's been quite a busy week. And um, I've got many, many parcels to ship at the moment, but um, trying to keep up with those and everything else is proving a bit of a difficulty. Um, so we're sort of trudging along at the moment, not really getting through that many. I think I'll be uh, spending the weekend trying to uh, to clear a big backlog of it um, once we're caught up with everything else. Uh, Speed limit. So yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. All in all, it's been. Um, Like I say, very busy, tiring week. Um, last weekend, uh, in Morning. the end, went Speed nowhere all weekend. Um, mainly because of the weather. <laughs> um, and of course, because I, I think I'd done enough work for quite a few weeks, so I thought I'd have a rest. And, uh, well, I say rest, I was still doing work at home, but at least I was at home doing it. Um, so, that's about it for the weekend. Not a lot, uh, just sort of hanging around at home. And then, like I say, it's just been crazy hectic this week. Managed to, uh, I think I managed to get quite caught up on stuff now about 68 invoices and shipping labels to get done today before midnight um, goodness knows how much of the backlog is it's just a big pile of shipping labels at the moment to get out um, but eventually I'll be caught up hopefully so uh, and then we can start working on other things um, it's just so it's so, it's been so full on for so many weeks, well the whole of this year, uh, it's been a relentless onslaught of work, 
that you just cannot keep up with. So, let's see if it's... Just stop it here, just as I like to change to green to be cool. Uh, so yeah, it is very cold. He, even in this car, it's still not warmed up. Been going for like 15 minutes already. Um, it's still not even warmed up. Oh. So, I mean, other than work, I haven't done a lot of them work to be honest. Uh, watched a few films. Uh, quite a good one was uh, Scrap Squeepers. Um, bit of a, a sort of Korean spacey one. Um, I think it'd been dubbed to English, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but actually very, very entertaining. <laughs> uh, that was on net Netflix. Um, found a few other films, but life in me, I can't remember what they're called now. No, they can't have been that exciting anyway. Done very little on Hive again just because I just don't have the time. Uh, a lot of the evenings this week I've just been invoicing and making shipping labels, and that's it. Um, so I just, by the time I've done all that, it's time to bed, and that's it. Back up to work and rinse, repeat day in, day out. So yes, for once I've got <laughs> little of interest to say other than it's cold and snowy. Um, yeah, I'm going to end up I think with a weekend of just shipping boxes. Try and get all that caught up. Today you've got a load of roasted coffee still to pack. That Patch yet, so we can make sure the last of the orders go out. I also don't really know what else is going to come in work wise, um, but if, even if nothing came in, it was a full day. <laughs> if no new orders come in, but that never happens, they just keep coming in all through the day on top of what you've already got. So for extra grip, I've got the uh, reasonably priced French SUV on eco mode. Uh, in fact, I've had it on eco mode all week now, which is unusual for me. Um, the eco mode completely takes all the power out of the engine. You've got hardly any acceleration. Um, but, of course, what it does mean is um, you get better fuel economy, and of course when it's snowy and icy, um, the wheels aren't trying to spin as much because there's not as much um, torque trying to rag them round. So I figured for the snowy weather it would be uh, better to go eco, um, and of course I get better fuel economy, so that's a win. So I'm just driving about at the moment, and I'm also trying to work out the uh, mile per gallon that it's given me. Uh, tyres are good. So not great at the moment, but it started yesterday. You've got to be on a motorway to be doing great miles per gallon. Because the theory is, going to work now should be very good because it's all downhill and then it's not so good on the way back because it's all uphill. Um, at the moment, this kind of cruising all downhill makes for very efficient driving.
So, yeah, hive-wise, um, other than the two posts, which are about the only posts I'm getting to manage at the moment, uh, this, the blog, of course, and uh, Sublime Sunday. I had a good snowy one last week because of all the snow. Uh, it's the Slow for 30. Um, full node is running well. Um, occasionally one hive mind has a little bit of a crash. Um, I could do with working out how to make it auto restart because I only ever know either when I go and look and it's not sinking or when I look at my uh, at hive.orsbit.devs um, ranking the nodes uh, and if I'm dropped out with a minus one I know it's crashed as well. Fortunately that's very rarely where it ever happens. Maybe like uh, once every couple of weeks or so. It's a bit random. But yeah, I was going to do the witness update last week, this week. Don't know when I'm going to do it now. Next week, maybe sometime. Um, I've still got the snow. The snowy Tuesday video to put on um, Three speak, not got round to that yet. Um, yeah, trying to ruin your fuel economy, they are like, desperately trying. So I think the forecast is cold this weekend, getting warmer next week. Um, well, at least up to the five sixes, which compared to minuses is a lot warmer. Um, and then I don't know, I presume we're out of the, the particular cold snap though. Not so much snow in Halifax though, is there? So, what else have I been doing? Not a lot. I watched quite a bit of Red Dwarf. Did I watch it? I think that was last weekend, actually. Um, there's Red Dwarfs on Netflix as well, so. A bit of a classic comedy show to watch. <laughs> it keeps me very entertained. I do remember a lot of them, because uh, I did watch them a lot back in the day. Oh. Bit of a queue up there, I think we'll go this way. Take the town centre route. Oh, I was behind the even earlier, Edmondson. Well, he's up my way, so he must be going exactly the same route as us. Warning, so hey following. radar, check speed. Unless he goes right at these lights, but I don't think he will. Solid route, this really. I don't know. When you get a big queue up to Pullen Lane up there, you can just look at those lights for three changes, which is a long time. Is he coming back on himself? Though? Oh, he is. Oh, that's interesting. He's probably going to go up the other road then, rather than go up this one. I prefer going up this one. You can go right, then left there, and go straight up that road and then along. I should see him pop up here in a minute. But he doesn't try and ram raid me. Maybe not. Be very 
cautious. It's still kind of, no, it's not. Unless he got up already, because Edmonton's is straight down and across. So I thought he'd be going there. All right, let's do Mr. Nellis's words of wisdom. Oh, there's one down that road, actually. Yeah, so maybe he's going to that one. There's a few of them about, somehow. Yeah, you're not going to open, are you? Right, let's have a look. Mr. Nellis's words of wisdom. Then I'm going to get him to work. So Mr. Nice says, my things to talk about on your vlog, the remake of the Julie Garland Wizard of Oz and my mum and my auntie got terrified of the witch in the film when she watched it as a child. And there you are. Have you ever been to Stonehenge? No. Have you tried the new Lucas Aid Revived? No. Space Jam A New Legacy as it's the second film starring LeBron James to replace Michael Jordan. Very good. Have you ever played Lemmings? Yes. Do you prefer Frankenstein or Dracula, as I like both of them? Yeah, yeah, both about the same, aren't they, really? Have you ever played the Where's Wally game books? I have one, as the first one is at my bubble at my pies, and I remember the television programme which was called Where's Waldo in America, which features the finding Wally games as they interrupted the episodes when Wally was running away in the episodes which made the game appear. They are, no. <laughs> Covid now, as we have been told not to book holidays yet, but Boris may reveal on the 22nd of February. Yeah, it's all looking a little bit pretty rubbish, isn't it? <laughs> um, be prepared to vaccinate regularly, is the answer, because not every strain is going to be... Uh, uh, Button's gone wonky. To open it up and get the dust out of the sensor again. I'm not going to do anything. So, um, regular vaccinations. A lot of travel is going to be out because realistically you'll not be able to go anywhere that hasn't had a decent vaccination program already. So that cuts out quite a large portion of the world before you start. Um, and even if they have, you know, there's all this chance of bringing in some foreign strain with travelling. So, oh, the boiler's got a bit of a drip though. Yes, it's looking at the moment like no, no holidays for a long time. Not even British holidays, which upset the British travel industry a lot, <laughs> understandably. Oh dear. So I don't know. Right, anyway, uh, have a good weekend, week next week, and I'll catch you in next week's couple of vlogs. See ya.